So I invite everyone to come into a place of comfort, take your seat and allow yourself to fully arrive in this moment, whatever that looks like for you. If there have been some distractions around you, if you're sitting in an awkward position, go ahead and maybe straighten out a little bit, let your feet be on the floor. Feel the ground underneath your feet. Direct your awareness into your body and feel the seat underneath your butt. And just dropping in and honoring this moment. This much awaited great conjunction between two very powerful living bodies. Planets are living bodies, just like planet Earth, Jupiter, Saturn. They have their own frequency. They have their own sound that they make in space. They have their own energy. And astrologically speaking, they have their own mythology, their own story, their teachings, the archetypes that they represent. Massive Jupiter, karmic Saturn, shift conjunction. And just allowing yourself to be present with your breath. Whether you have reason for it or not, allow yourself to feel gratitude. If anything, thankful that you get to be here for this moment. On a soul level, you chose this on purpose. We all did. Grateful to be here to take these breaths. And just noticing how the breath is moving through you today. And maybe there's room to let your shoulders relax down from the ears. And maybe there's the option to let your arms get a little heavier, let your eyelids get a little heavier. Taking your seat in your sovereign queen or king self at this moment, knowing that you belong here, you are meant to be here, honoring it and acknowledging your choice to be here, you chose to plug into this talk today, to be here for this moment. And just notice how that feels in your body to acknowledge that you made a choice. You stuck with it and here you are taking these breaths, allowing more and more of you to be fully present. Maybe you can angle the tip of your tongue toward the roof of your mouth. This opens the front meridians and the back meridians of the body and allows them to circulate freely in communication with each other. And maybe as you take a breath in, you can visualize or feel the breath moving up the spine to the crown of the head where it makes connection with the hundred meetings point governor, governor vessel 20 I hoi. and as you exhale let the breath move down the front of the body moving into what's called the lower dantian the area just below the belly button the seed of our power. The seed of our essence. There we have the reproductive organs, first and second chakras that resource us. Allow that energy cycle, that breath cycle to repeat itself with every breath, inhaling up the spine. Making contact with the heavens, the crown of the head 
exhaling down the front of the body, making contact with Mother Earth through the perineum, through the tailbone, and allowing this microcosmic orbit, as it's known, to circulate vital essence through your body. And along the way, it connects and picks up vital essence from the earth and from the sky, makes it part of you. This breath moving through you. You have these energies within you, regardless of circumstances. Regardless of circumstance, you have inner peace. Regardless of circumstance, you have equanimity. And you can mindfully access it by doing something like this. Allowing more and more of your body to relax. Maybe there's something that's bubbling up. Maybe there's some tension. And as you stay focused on the breath and on the circulation of this chi energy in your body, maybe that something dissipates or dissolves or transmutes. Because when we create this kind of space, what no longer ser serves as bubbles to the surface to be released. You just acknowledge if there's anything coming up for you in this moment. Feeling all your feelings. celestial bodies, this major, major force within and around you to be a healing effect, to be a positive presence in your life. Twenty twenty was a year of grand awakening. Big exfoliation. So much was exposed and sloughed off that just doesn't serve. We've been shown it doesn't serve. So now this moment to be just another one of those turning points. We can lovingly let go serves so that it may become the compost for the seeds of your intentions and your highest good to turn into blossoms that you can cultivate and nurture and align with these other powerful energies to help nourish There's a short poem I'd like to read to you. I will not die an unlived life. I will not live in fear of falling or catching fire. I choose to inhabit my days to allow my living to open me, to make me less afraid, more accessible, to loosen my heart until it becomes a wing, a torch, a promise. I choose to risk my significance, to live so that which came to me as a seed goes to the next as blossom. And that which came to me as blossom goes on as fruit. 
This is a beautiful poem by Donna Markova. So as we wrap up this exercise, bring into your heart's awareness the recognition that you came here to shine. You came here to give your gifts in this world. We all did. And the more we can see that in each other and help to draw it out of each other, the awareness that we are here as sovereign beings, willfully and by choice, to give our light. The greater this light grid will be. With plenty of space to feel all the difficult feelings, the fear, the anger, betrayal. We don't throw those away feel them fully grateful that we can feel so fully and I invite you to just bring your hands together and gently rub them bringing all that energy right back close up qigong practice by just Kind of washing that chi that's generated between the palms, kind of over the face, over the head. Breathing it back in. And maybe just rolling the shoulders back a little bit. Forward. Taking those deeper breaths, rolling the neck. Slowly coming back to body awareness. Feeling the ground underneath the feet. Coming back into the space, into the room. 